Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bird's Eye View. I'm Hardcase, and as always, War Duck is with me. How's it going? All right, and today we're going to do the kind of a start of a mini series of things that we've been talking about for a while, and it's because um, obviously I'm from the I'm from the UK, ducks from the US, so we have very different things and different similarities of stuff, and and uh, yeah, War Duck found these awesome videos, and we're going to watch this video today called 20 Weird Things Only British People Do," and it's going to be interesting to see ducks' reactions to them and what different things and. I'm like, it'd be cool for me as well, because I haven't seen the video to see how many things are actually true for us Brits right. and what so, we do. <laughs> so that was kind of the thing, is Hardcase has mm. not seen this video. So, mm -hmm. and I have not seen this video, so I thought it was, it'd was it be kind of interesting to see uh, where he is with, like, yeah, we don't do that here, or that's not a thing, or, or something like that. So how do I, <laughs> uh, what did I just do? Oh, I just really screwed that up, didn't I? I don't, I don't know what happened. What the hell? As you can see, we like to play the end of the video before we get to the beginning. <laughs> My friend used to pay a hundred. Oh God! Now we have to. All right. And now adverts. Uh, you know, Advert, when you watch right. our other so... video, you understand about adverts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get. Let's get to. Okay. Here's number one. Uh, bathrooms. Not everyone does okay. this, but I am currently living in a house that has a carpeted bathroom. All right, do you have a carpeted bathroom? I do indeed, yes. We oh. have a carpeted bathroom, 100%. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that so does that mean you sit down? What do you mean, sit down? I mean, a lot of times guys stand up, but if you have a carpeted bathroom, do you sit down? Oh, God, no, no. I always stand up. No. That's weird. <laughs> Who would sit down to do it? That's like... I'm, twisted. I, I'm I think lazy, Twisted sits down, that's doesn't like he? next level. So, 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 have you never had your toilet overflow or anything? Uh, Yeah, actually, well, it wouldn't say overflow, but we did have a leak, and that was awkward. We had to... I literally had to... Um, I found a little bucket and I just had to put it under the leak <laughs> until we could get it fixed. <laughs> but yeah, our whole car, our whole bathroom is carpeted. It's always been. I so don't in the, in the U.S. I don't know that you could happen. find a carpeted bathroom. <laughs> Usually, it's tile or linoleum. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, it makes to me that makes sense because if something spills or because there's water and everything in there, it makes sense. But yeah, it's always been carpeted. Every bathroom I remember from childhood, it's always been carpeted, which is an odd thing now, thinking about it for sure, yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. All right, number two. Carpeted bathrooms oh. as well. Number two is way. Okay, and this is something that huh? we shout in a very, very specific situation. Do you do this? Oh, yeah. you know what yeah. she's talking about? I'm... Yeah. <laughs> if... Situation. Yep. If uh, you're in a restaurant or a pub, anywhere, even if you're at home with pub. family, friends, it doesn't matter where it is. Somebody drops something or breaks something, it's the immediate everyone goes way, and then everyone's clapping and like, Wah. where does it's that just, come yeah. from? <laughs> We're weird. <laughs> <laughs> the whole pub should shout. But Way. yeah, we uh, Sorry, we like I to, to re -record that. That have so friendly, bad. fun banter with everybody, <laughs> now, I guess. I so <laughs> we just uh, always picking on everybody. <laughs> I dropped a fair few glasses. We had to carry these drinks on tiny round trays that you had to balance. I couldn't do that. So I've had my fair share of ways in my lifetime. <laughs> I want to know where that originates my from. Mother's best mm, friend. Yeah, it's very interesting. Forgot where she was. Ah, oh, see. And she did the way in Portugal. <laughs> a restaurant in Portugal. Hey. Some poor, poor waiter dropped a load of glass. I don't want to hear the story. I want to hear where it comes from. Fireworks on bonfire night. So on the 5th <laughs> right. of November. Number three, ridiculous excitement over fireworks. Hmm. You guys go crazy All over right. fireworks over there? Uh, yeah, everyone does. Yeah, it's just, it's mental. Everybody goes crazy for it. It's like, 
I don't it, like. Yeah, it doesn't matter what age you are. <laughs> people here Everyone go pretty first. nuts over fireworks, though. Too like yeah. they're illegal. I, like I, a lot of like, and people are just like, mm. like they're illegal. Don't show. Then you look out your door. It's like <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> really, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just like whenever. Or, what was it? Um, it's the anniversary, the fifth of November. Oh God, um, November, the fifth of November. Um, fireworks go crazy here. <laughs> so, yeah. Why? What's the fifth of November? Um, it's Guy Fawkes Day. R remember, remember the fifth of November. It's where um, it's the failed attempt of Guy Fawkes trying to blow up um the House of Parliament. So yeah. <laughs> weird that we celebrate that with fireworks, but uh, yeah, she just talked about it. Funny. <laughs> this night or on the evening surrounding. Yeah, I've night, lost total sync with you on Monday, watching this at the same time. Today, <laughs> I'm trying to keep example, up. People who have no experience or business dealing with explosives get incredibly excited. They go to firework shops, they do them in their garden, and <coughs> it's really dangerous. My dad always really enjoyed setting up the fireworks and setting them off in a neighbor's garden. And my mother was always in a neighbor's garden. Petrified, she was so scared he was going to get hurt, and rightly so. And one day they played this terrible prank on my mother and all of the other worried. Wives. Yeah, last time yeah. I played with fireworks, I burnt down one of my mate's neighbor's prized bamboo bush. So I've never <laughs> messed with them since. <laughs> Did you get into trouble? <laughs> uh yeah a little bit yeah <laughs> like but police luckily, trouble like, or just like neighborhood oh, no, trouble? nothing like that the guy was just he was really angry um, <laughs> and we cut it kind of shut down the whole evening there was no we couldn't do any fireworks so what's that. funny about that is uh my boy my my brother my boy chad and i it, we grew up in this mm. neighborhood chad josh and i grew up in this neighborhood and for mm. years and years before i moved here every fourth of july we would go up, or I'd come down from Washington. And we'd go down there, and then mm. our we'd have our own fireworks show in this cul-de-sac. And mm. then we had this one incident where this firework, like, instead of going up, it went, and then went across right into these oh, bushes no. and caught them on fire. And like we were putting them out with hoses, oh, yeah. and that was kind of a downswing of us doing fireworks <laughs> shows in the neighborhood after that. Yeah. <laughs> so right. Before. We think <laughs> that a cup of tea will cure, or help at least, any bad situation. And a lot of us genuinely believe this. Are you? Drink tea for everything? 100%. Oh yeah, tea's good for everything. If you listen Doesn't to Kill Carter, it's. it's whiskey. I had like a <laughs> cough, he's like, oh, whiskey and honey, and then I had something else, and he's like, oh, whiskey and lemon, and I was like, you mean just whiskey and something, right? And we... mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Irish way. Whiskey was something, yep. <laughs> All right, what's she talking about now here? Number five is... Oh, yeah. Oh, God, she jumped, jumped into five pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, 615, number five. All right. All right. Oh, I forgot the town. Uh, this is something that we say when we are offered something that we know <laughs> we shouldn't have. For example, a very unhealthy food or maybe... A cigarette or a drink of alcohol when somebody offers you something naughty or considered to be naughty go on then go on then you do this oh yeah yeah <laughs> whenever yeah 100 percent. whenever someone's doing something naughty or like um just like somebody like offers you a biscuit and you, you're like oh yeah go on then yeah just yeah go on then i'll have a little bit on you i know. think i've actually heard you say this when we've been gaming and i'd never really dawned on me <laughs> yeah I, I'm pretty sure I've said it plenty of times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go on then. <laughs> like, oh, let's go over here. You're like, oh, yeah, go on then. You know. I'll be over yeah, here definitely. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you have a similar phrase in your own language. I would love to hear it because I think that's just <laughs> such a key phrase in our vocabulary. <clears throat> Number six, Colin, the caterpillar cake. Need I say more? Yes. That ring a bell? Right, oh, Colin sorry, the caterpillar one. cake? Uh, Alright, let's no. hear what she says. More so that my viewers understand. Any British person watching this will understand 
Colin. Oh, see, you must not be Catholic British. Cake. They will mm. probably feel excitement running through their veins, okay? A Colin the Caterpillar cake is a long oh, chocolate that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. roll. I don't, I don't know of that. I think yeah. that's what you call it. It's a <laughs> roll of cake covered in chocolate with the face mm. of a caterpillar on the end. And if it was your birthday at school, your mum would buy you a Colin <laughs> the Caterpillar cake. It was very easy to slice and lots of slices for all of the children. And if it was your birthday, mm. you got to eat the face. I the thing then, huh? You had this Colin the Caterpillar cake? Oh yeah, cake. I remember them. I think I might have had it one birthday. I do remember it now. Like it's. Just, I don't remember being called Colin, but yeah, I do remember Caterpillar cakes. Yeah. Uh, for a minute there, I was thinking you weren't British, dude. She was like, everybody's yeah, really gonna know so this. I you're like my status. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first Colin the Caterpillar cake. I remember being served the face of this cake, and I remember it being disgusting. Right, we're gonna have to skip up a bit here. All right, number seven. All right, we'll go about uh, 803. 803. Probably. Right, here we go. <laughs> number seven, something else we find ridiculously exciting, way more exciting than it should be, J2Os. <laughs> I don't know if you have these in other countries, but they are a non-alcoholic <laughs> uh, yeah, juice drink. Not juice juice drink okay that means it's not 100 percent juice the most <laughs> famous flavor is orange and passion fruit what uh, yep j2o's oh I'm yeah so confused With... right now a juice it, drink it, that's it's... not juice yeah it's it's so hard to explain it tastes like juice but it's not really juice it's so weird but it was like the thing that was invented so because <laughs> The, the thing to do, uh, us Brits do, is like, you know, you go hang out at a pub, you take your family, you go hang out there or like different places. And these drinks were invented for the kids and everyone to drink. So at least the, the kids could go up to the bar and order a J2O, you know, like <laughs> at least feel part like, you know, oh, I can actually order something kind of thing. So, Unfortunately, in yeah. America, kids can't go no matter what. Like you have to be 21 yeah. <laughs> just to get in. You can't take a kid to yeah. the bar. So we never get that. So when you're 21, like that's the thing. It's like, oh, we're going to the bar, you know, it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, here we literally every pub is like it's literally like designed as like a family pub basically. Oh, that's like cool, you can man. take your family. Yeah, so you can take your whole family there. Like you, you, you can. Dad's going you can to get drunk. Like, Let's on... go, kids, get in the car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can have like full on dinners and like meals at pubs and everything. Like, yeah, uh, ah, that's there. like cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Give up to number eight. All right. Yeah. Da, da, da. 926. Right, yep. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds a bit random, but pop? we use pop. I have lost 25 oh, son pounds. Son of a bitch. With I've lost 97 pounds with Noom. <laughs> I've lost 20. <laughs> Fucking commercial. <laughs> Many phrasal <laughs> verbs. Um, and it's a very warm way of asking somebody to come or go somewhere. I gotta back it up because I don't. Many phrasal <laughs> verbs. Um, and it's a very warm oh, way of to asking pop somebody to round, come or go over, somewhere. in, out, down, up. Do you up? want me mm -hmm. to pop over? Do you want me to come yep, over? Yeah, it's uh, all, over, all the time. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll just pop, pop on over, you know, like, let's pop down, you know. Just, just pop down, down to the, the, to the shop. Yeah, say it all the time. I feel like we use pop sometimes in very small circumstances, but not. Pop up, pop down, pop over. Just treat it as come and go. Number nine, British people like to base the entire country's economic state on the price inflation of a frog-shaped chocolate bar called a Freddo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Freddos. You're familiar with this, huh? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. 100%, yeah. It's always been a thing. Good old Freddos. Uh, yes, oh, you heard yeah. that correctly. We I mean, I don't know much about like the inflation thing, but I do remember Freddo's. That's a very British thing. Freddo. When we were young, Freddo's were known to be the most affordable chocolate bar. They were a little frog and they were typically, I think, 10p when I was young. I remember being given a pound pounds? to spend okay. on sweets at a party. <laughs> I could have one big packet of sweets 
or I could have 10 Freddos. <laughs> the logical answer is to go for all of the Freddos. However, every time I see the price of a Freddo rise, I am outraged and the rest of the nation is too. I'm gonna search now, current. Uh-oh, your camera's wacko. Uh-oh. Um. I, I don't know, it's this side, man. I'll tell you, it's cursed. Uh, uh, I'll restart it, see if that. There you go. All right, there we hey, go. Hey, and I'm back. So, did you base the economy on Freddo's? I wouldn't say I personally did, but I know that there was a big uproar about the whole, like, it was a thing of, like, people pointing out the inflation because they were, like, Freddo's. How much um, do Freddo's cost now? I don't know how much they cost now. I haven't seen. I uh, don't even see them in shops anymore. I don't, <laughs> they're very rare that you see them now. But back in the day, yeah, they were everywhere. All right, eleven twenty. Eleven twenty. Right. Oh, when I can see eleven twenty. Uh, All right. Yep. Damn you, Freddo's. That means I could have bought ten, and now I can only buy four. That is outrageous. Okay. She's really upset about Freddo's. In blankets. Yeah. <laughs> we get so excited about this particular food called a pig in blanket. It is a little cocktail sausage wrapped in bacon. And typically we only have them mm. at Christmas. But there's no reason for this. We could mm -hmm. have them every Sunday. It's a Christmas food? Yep. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> it... I, I've never had it outside of Christmas. That's uh, when, so funny. Like we yeah, like it's weird. like if you have like potlucks, you end up with stuff mm. like this, right? Because small finger food, people can get what they want. Um, yeah, but yeah. I, this is something I would never had. Um, just on like it's not something we would have at Christmas at all. Yeah, yeah. it is a very odd one to have. But yeah, it, I don't know what it is. Those look it, like it's... those look like little minis wrapped in bacon though that yeah doesn't... it's little mini sausage roll and then it's got bacon wrapped around it and then you whack them in the oven for like 15 20 minutes and then oh boom. see we i haven't seen the like normally mm. we just have the the hot dog wrapped in a little but little tiny bun oh okay yeah yeah. <laughs> these are wrapped nice. in bacon huh? these these look yeah. pretty goddamn good dude <laughs> oh they are the most it is ridiculous the fact that you know it's sausage and wrapped in bacon it's all the same thing but it's just mm -hmm. oh it's next it'd be, level honestly it'd be goddamn christmas in my house every week if it was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i can imagine if you go to a pub and your sunday roast comes with a pig in blanket or some pigs in blankets it's the best roast ever. We absolutely love them. But we only have them <laughs> mm. at Christmas. Why is that? Number 11, one of our most popular TV shows is a TV show of people watching TV shows. <laughs> no, she's talking about? It's called Gogglebox. Mm -hmm. I imagine this concept has arrived yep. in other countries now. They basically film families watching the TV highlights and then they compile their witty remarks and then we watch them. It, it, it's a very good program. It's very um, meta. Mm. Number 12. So, okay, so that one's not that far away from what we're doing, so I could get it. I could get it. Yeah, so. it, it's, it was, yeah, it's, I watched it a couple of times, but it was weird even for me. It's just like, uh, I wouldn't go to as far as what she said. It was a good program. It really, like, to me, it's, it's just... <laughs> It generally literally is you're just watching people you're not seeing them watch the tv the camera's in the kind of roughly off center for where the tv is so all you're seeing is them sat down watching something and then talking amongst uh, each other it's uh -huh. the weirdest thing ever but yeah that's that's british tv for you <laughs> poo in facebook groups Okay, what? in the UK and I imagine what? in lots of places in the world, we have Facebook groups for our local community. So I'm in quite a few of the surrounding uh. villages and towns. And there is a new phenomenon, and it is the people that are getting so frustrated with people not picking up their dog poo, especially if it's on someone's property or on their front lawn. People are taking to taking pictures of the dog poo and posting it in these community groups. And I don't know about you, but 
Are you posting pictures no. of dog poop, hard case? <laughs> no. I mean, even if I had a dog, and I still wouldn't do that. No, <laughs> that is that is definitely not a British only thing that pe- British people do. And yeah. if they do, that I don't know them. <laughs> so, I'm not in those circles. No, <laughs> that's a weird one for me. I, people take this very seriously. I think mm. everywhere, and I've mm-hmm. seen I've seen. I've seen people at dog parks go pick up other people's dog poo because their owners didn't do it and then hand mm-hmm. it to them. I've mm. seen like people set them on people's cars. <laughs> I've seen people put them in people's mailbox. I've oh, I've wow. seen people <laughs> do some stuff like because people like some like we have a big dog. He's got big piles of stuff. And when we take a walk, mm. we take a bag every time and mm-hmm. we pick it up and hopefully I can drop it in somebody's waste box. But uh, usually I end up having to carry it all the way home. Yeah. But, like, I know, like, my mom, like, when I used to visit my mom, um, we were in Oregon. Uh, mm. She lived kind of on the corner. And people would walk, and then their dog would just poo, and then, like, my mom, you know, we'd we'd go and mm. take a walk, and so my mom would pick it up, and she'd carry it around, and she'd put it on those people's <laughs> driveways, or, you know I mean? It's like, I know where you live. I'm going to take your dog mm. poo, and I'm going to drop it off to you. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, I've done this crazy, with like but... like one that mm. pisses me off when people throw cigarettes out of their car or something. Yeah, that pisses yeah, me that... off so bad. And I have got out of my mm. car, picked up. I've done this at flipping stoplight. Got out of my car, <laughs> picked it up, and put it in the little grill underneath your windshield wipers in your car. Yeah. Oh, dude, that shit pisses me <laughs> off. Yeah, I'm it's like what, why why flick it out the window when you got an ashtray in your car? You can just stub it out in. <laughs> it, yeah. And with the dog, we, like yeah, like when I used to look after my brother's dog, like I always picked up after it. And like I mean, for us, even though it's uh, this is another weird thing, we actually in most places where we can walk our dogs, there's little dog bins that you put the dog refuse in, and then they get cleared out later on. We do it at dog parks. We have them at dog oh, parks. Oh, yeah, of course. I forget you guys actually have but, dog parks. We, yeah. we don't really have dog parks that are just for dogs. We just have, like, parks or recreational areas, and people just go walk their dogs there <laughs> or just go into the woods, you know? So, it's, yeah. so. yeah, if a dog shits in the wood and nobody picks it up, did it happen? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> my phone for the first time in the morning. Oh, my God, okay. Bite. Number 13. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've seen enough. We know it's a problem. Number 13. Right. Drinking in rounds. Okay. When we go on a night out with a group of friends, we drink in rounds, which means if there are five of us, instead of everyone buying their individual drinks, one person will buy five drinks, then the next person will buy five drinks. I'm sure many of you are aware of this concept. I'm sure it has a different name where you're from. But. The very British thing to do is to shout, whose round is it, when you know exactly whose round it is, and you just are trying to make them actually buy their round, because there are a lot of people who participate in rounds, wait till last and hope that they won't actually have to buy that round, thus escaping with a lot of free drinks and a very full wallet. So this is so hilarious that their strategy to this just makes me oh, makes yeah. it even funnier to me that that's like <laughs> yeah it was always oh, a thing like i i always made sure that i bought a round in early so then by the time it gets back around everyone's drunk and it doesn't matter it's all out the window it's gone <laughs> so, so we do this... i don't drink much anymore so <laughs> but it yeah is a weird we thing used to we do, do this that. with like friends like close mm. friends and stuff we'd go and like we would kind of do this there but it was it wasn't like an up wasn't like a thing it was just like hey i got mm. this round or you know or whatever usually mm. like i never like i was the guy that never really drank so everybody was like <laughs> oh dude let me buy you a drink and i'm mm. like eh. <laughs> like mm. whatever so that's kind of funny <laughs> all right number 14 15 10 if somebody's oh, tight, they don't like 16. spending a lot of oh, money. God. Number 14 is we can't always be bothered to use an umbrella. It rains so often that unless it is absolutely pummeling it down, uh, I don't mind getting a bit wet. Yep. I remember when I was in Spain. Yeah, I, 
like I grew up in Oregon and it it rains all the time. Mm. I never owned an umbrella. And like we always joked, if you're from Oregon and you own an umbrella, you're a transplant from California or something. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I, I it's never... always raining here. Yeah. I love the rain anyway, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number 15. We don't put fridges in the eggs. Wrong. Don't put Number fridges 15. in the eggs? What? We don't always put our eggs mm. in the fridge. I, I swear to God, eggs. she said she doesn't put her fridges in her eggs, right? Isn't that what she said? Yeah, she she had, she, she said it round the wrong way. And was okay. Like, don't double take. I was like, I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> I remember going abroad and seeing fridges in the eggs. Fridges in the eggs. She did it again. I going abroad and seeing yeah. fridges. I remember some fridges arriving with egg holders. I thought that was so weird. No, I like a nice room temperature egg. Oh yes. <laughs> Why does that sound like? So, d so you don't refrigerate your eggs? I'm assuming that, right. That's another thing, right? Nope. So we have like refrigerators sometimes come with like egg holder mm. slots in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm assuming we do it so they last longer. Do eggs not last longer? They're I don't. I I I wouldn't know if it does or doesn't. Cause Maybe we should call the expert. November. <laughs> we'll call we'll call we'll call the expert. Oh, expert opinion time. Oh, awesome. Do eggs last longer in the fridge than if you leave them out? Uh, depends. Depends on. So if they're fresh eggs and they're not washed, you can leave them out. If they're fresh from a chicken or a goose and they're not washed, because when they come out they have a protective layer, you don't have to did you hear that? I I didn't catch that though. No. <laughs> okay, so she said that. Um, here, you just tell him. Oh, okay. So when the egg comes out of the chicken, it has a protective layer. That protective layer preserves the egg, so it does not have to mm. be uh, in the refrigerator. So it, mm. I'm not sure exactly how long it can last, but because we wash our eggs, because from the farm they clean all the eggs sometimes they whitewash them so that's why we have white eggs they don't they lose their protective layer which means they have to be refrigerated there's no protective layer now the store-bought eggs and everything would be washed and so okay there you go from the mm, expert yeah so if you have washed eggs you can't leave them out so you guys must have non-washed eggs or they don't last mm. as long as yeah i guess there so, you go yeah i'm mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I've always I know that. I've always known that because I've seen it in loads of American programs and stuff like you getting your eggs out of the fridge and I've always been like, Why the hell do you have your eggs in the fridge? But no, it kinda of makes sense now, like but I know we're weird. I don't know why we don't have it. In so the are your eggs white? No, they're like brown. So I wonder if that's the thing, is they're not mm. the whitewashed eggs like we get in yeah. our stores and that's why huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. Mm. All right, let's see. Interesting. Like an innuendo. 16. This one goes without saying. We are obsessed with the weather. Even if it's so boring, you know, oh, it's slightly grey and windy. <laughs> Just not in you. It's a bit grey and windy, isn't it? Us Brits in the weather. <laughs> it does change we love it. so much that it is quite, you know, entertaining. We've got, sometimes we don't have that much in our lives to talk about. So the weather is just a really good one to go Number 17. Scone or scone? Okay, this is the conundrum. Oh, good Actually, old weather. there's a part two to this conundrum as well. There is a baked good, which I call a scone, but other people call it a scone. And there's a big fight, a big divide in the UK. Are you divided over this? It's scone. No, she's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you guys be duking it out, man. She's like, yeah. take She's wrong. Scone. It's, it's scone, all right? <laughs> I say scone. That's the way I only, I've only ever heard yeah, it. It's scone. It's so. scone. I, I'm, I'm very positive it's scone. But <laughs> okay, man. She goes on about this one for a while, so we're gonna speed it up to seventeen forty-seven. Oh God, yeah, she does rap for me. <laughs> <laughs> There All right. Yep. Try it out for yourself, but I think logistically, cream first, then jam. Number eighteen. We are terrible at ending conversations. Yeah, Honestly, you are. This is the most annoying thing ever. 
The worst. There is a huge cult it, of this, and this is my fiance Will. It is my Typically, biggest thing ever. Yeah, I can I notice we're like, hey, and you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I it is I find it I find it hard to say goodbye to anybody, even even my own brother and mates that I hang out with in chat. I find it so like I'm I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, I'll see you later. Cool, awesome, have a good one, right? Yeah, bye, 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 take care, bye. I'm literally that that's word for word. That's not like a And then like a half hour later you're still that. in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still there, yeah. Like and half the time uh, I'm like in my head I'm like, Oh yeah, better go but then I'm like, How am I going to approach leaving in a way that is clinical enough that I could just get out of there, but I never can. Oh my god, it, it, that's so yeah, funny. it's crazy that we do that. I I, I can't end, ever end a conversation. It's the um, yeah, oh. I like that's why I always found crazy like seeing in American programs and stuff like um, Friends and all of that. Like where you'd be on the phone and then you you wouldn't even say bye. You just like boop, hang up, and like out you go. And I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> What? So it's crazy. So she feels so strongly about it. She brings her fiance in and she talks her about two oh, or three right. minutes. So we're going to fast forward to 1859. 1859. All right, yeah. All right, here we go. Conversation's difficult. Well, it's nice to get out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been a tough year for everyone. Who to it? All right. Oh, so they're still time. going. Cool. Number 19, <laughs> you really overused the word sorry. Um, this was further solidified in my mind last night. We watched yep. Bridget Jones, and there was the scene where Mark Darcy or Colin Firth and... All right. Yeah. Hard case is always saying I'm sorry. About... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I say sorry so much. Like, yeah, it was... I always remember this because it's always a thing for me. I always remember in one of my relationships... I said it so much that literally my girlfriend at the time, she was like, you have to stop saying sorry. <laughs> it's like, you can't say it anymore. Like, just stop. <laughs> and I was like, and then, like the, and then you were about to say sorry, right? Going, yeah. no, I was going to be like, sorry. And I was like, God damn it. I can't stop saying it. <laughs> Yeah, I get this one. Uh, I overused it so much. I'm always saying sorry. <laughs> so that's just like a British thing though, right? Apparently. Yeah, I think it is very much, yeah. I don't think that's anywhere else. Like we it's like yeah. Especially for me, like I relate to that too In fact, much. The I next time I hear it. somebody say sorry, I'm be are you British? Because I don't remember ever hearing yeah. Americans say this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Americans never say that shit. They don't. Mm. <laughs> They'd be like, they'd be like, I ran your foot over. Oh, fuck you. I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. It was your fault. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so we'll go to 1933 for number 20 in the last one. 1933. Cool. All right. Too much. And number 20, the, the final weird Stupid thing that British people do thing doing. Um, is... Consume a lot of pre-made sandwiches. <laughs> what? It's a bit of a random one. But there is something very exciting about going on a right. short car journey and stopping off for lunch. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Sandwich in a box. You can get oh, them from yeah. petrol stations <laughs> or you can get them from supermarkets. I know Tesco does something called a meal deal where for a certain amount of money you get mm -hmm. a sandwich... A snack. A sand? You guys... <laughs> <laughs> so, is it like, you guys purposely go on trips to get sandwiches in a box? Well, no, what what it is, it's just like, they they came about because a lot of people be on the motorways and everything, and then it was a quick way to get grab a quick snack. Like, if you're, like, road tripping it down to, like, a holiday place or, like, something like that. You could grab a quick sandwich and yeah, I, I grab them all the time, like eh, all the time. They're everywhere and I love them all the time. Like when, like yeah, That's when so um, yeah, you know, literally like the meal deal has been. It's quite a newish thing, like that came about the meal deal, where yeah, you can literally, I think it's for like a couple of pounds and you can get a sandwich, bag of crisps, and a bottle of drink all in one, and it's just like boom. So in the only time I've ever seen something like this is in the airport. Mm. And it's like eight dollars oh, okay. yeah, for yeah. a, it's like eight bucks for a freaking mm. <laughs> box sandwich. <laughs> yeah, but these sandwiches, depending on where you buy them, they're like um, 
there'd be there's no more than like two pounds for a sandwich something like that depends on what ones you're buying but if like you're shopping from like what a big chain that we have called sainsbury's they're like they're sometimes they're like a pound to pound 50 so you know pretty cheap but good like they're like ho like fresh made like they they're not like stale or anything it's like proper fresh yeah good so stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird that you guys don't have black good, but I guess it's because well, we do you probably have, have a lot them. more of um, delis, isn't it, that you guys have well, that make the sandwiches like, and stuff like that. So I'm not a big, like, I'm not a big buying, buying out type person, mm. right? So I, so, and I, and for me, I would, this isn't something I would ever buy, uh, <laughs> like when I'm on the road or something, like that's just like... Mm. I'm going to stop and get a burger at a fast food place or something, right? I'm not mm. going to go on a road trip and, and get a box sandwich. I'm just, it's just not something that I would ever do. When I'm at the airport, <laughs> I might be stuck with buying something like that. Mm. But even at the yeah, airport, yeah. they generally have like little restaurants or something that you get. Mm. But normally I don't travel like distances without pre-packing stuff to eat and things. So... It would mm -hmm. have to be at the very end of my trip where I'm like, okay, I don't, we ran out of food or, or something or, you know, and so otherwise, yeah. otherwise it's not something that, that we would really do. Mm. So I guess that's probably where we differ a bit because obviously Americans more like always had the fast food or the diners that you can get a burger or something. Whereas for us, it was always like if we were going on long trips, it was mostly that your mom or and something would make some sandwiches up for the trip and so everyone had that their food that way so then you're not really stopping that much because yeah for for quite a while petrol stations or gas stations for you guys um they wouldn't really have much to sell um like other than you know just getting your petrol and maybe they might sell some odds and ends for your car and stuff that was kind of it and then slowly food and drink and other bits and other little convenient um items have started appearing in garages more and more now like it's well i'll yeah. tell you now you yeah. can't you can drive across the country and every so often there'll just be a random gas station it's in a full-on flipping store mm. you go in and they got clothes and like all right well <laughs> <laughs> like we we drove from here to new mexico on one of the vacations mm. and it was like i don't know a nine eight or nine hour drive and every, I don't know, 50, 60 miles or something, there'd be, like, this shop. And it had mm. gas station. You had Sometimes it had fast food in it. Or it had, like, little <laughs> stuff where you could buy food, like a grocery store type mm. of thing. And they'd yeah, have, yeah. like, knickknacks and clothes and car parts mm. and just, yeah. Like, you can't go anywhere in America and not be able to get to a <laughs> store, pretty much, or a fast food place, you know. Mm. It's pretty rare Yeah, that you I can mean, go on a yeah, we... stretch. We do have bigger ones that are like dotted more further along, like motorways that um they're called service stations. Um, and you pull in there, and that's where it have like, like a big like mall type place, and it have different shops and places where people can hang out, or you know, like from the long drive they could um <laughs> you know relax and stuff. Because I know like I I looked at it um only the other day, like how small we are compared to you guys, like country wise, like we fit. Uh, we fit in like 11 of your states it's something ridiculous <laughs> like that it's, yeah <laughs> so it's just like, and like that's why i said long drive like for us it's long but for you guys it's just like psh. <laughs> yeah we're like, definitely a, a traveling jaunt. society we, we travel all over. yeah so all right so this was 20 20 things was it 20 mm. i forgot already anyway uh 20 <laughs> weird things only british people do uh yep no i get we got the expert over here that that says some of those aren't a thing but most of them are pretty spot on uh so we're yeah. gonna do some more of these type of videos so if you like these uh, let us know in the comments or if you're from uh somewhere else that's not the uk or or not america let us know what you guys have that we don't and then we should definitely be looking at or checking out and if you really yeah, you know yeah. you can always uh send us something that we'll uh open up mm. on the stream if you got For something sure, yeah, that yeah. uh that um you got that we don't have so all right with that though we are getting out of here much love all don't forget to subscribe don't Peace forget out, to don't like me. so you can get all these new videos but oh, yeah. with that Definitely. uh i'll let hard case end it and see how long this goes oh yeah of course yeah so yeah to start with <laughs>
<laughs> I will just end it because it will never end if I try and end it. We, we should never do this, honestly. Because <laughs> it could just go on forever because then I, I just keep talking and then I'm like, I don't know what to say. I remember actually once when I, way back when I was streaming, somebody actually called out. Right, that we'll see you guys later. Me, like,